Hello, this video we will touch base on a couple things in the Johnson County Public School Gazette that will pertain to you. Um, if at any time you have questions, please ask. Um, stop your teacher um, and ask your question or write it down um, and ask at the end of this video. First, we will go to page three. There are a lot of information in here, so I'm going to skim through it. I'm not going to read everything, um, but if you see something that grabs your attention, please ask. Page three at the bottom, we're going to start with policy code 440 attendance. Attendance in school and participation in class are integral parts of academic achievement and the teaching learning process. Through regular attendance, students develop patterns of behavior essential to professional and personal success in life. Regular attendance by every student is mandatory. The state of North Carolina requires that every child in the state between the ages of seven or younger, if enrolled, and 16 attend school. Parents and legal guardians are responsible for ensuring that students attend and remain at school daily. Um, a just talks about attendance records, how the school officials will keep accurate records of your attendance. B, excused absences. Um, when you have missed school, even for a day, please make sure you have a written note um, by your parent or guardian excusing you from the day that you missed. Um, absences due to extended illness may also require a statement from a physician. An absence may be excused for any of the following reasons. One, personal illness or injury that makes the student physically unable to attend school. Two, isolation ordered by the State Board of Health. Three, death in the immediate family. Four, medical or dental appointment of the student. Five, participation as a party or under subpoena as a witness in court proceeding. Six, for observance in any event required or suggested by the religion of the student or the student's parent or legal guardian. Participation in invalid educational opportunity. Um, eight, pregnancy and or related conditions or parenting uh, when medically necessary or nine, up to two days each academic year for visitation with the student's parent or legal guardian if the parent is an active duty member of the uniformed service as defined by policy 4050. This next paragraph here, these two paragraphs right here, just talks about if you have excessive absences, um, excused or unexcused, um, short term, out of school suspension, um, or for school related, it is your responsibility as a student to make up your work. Okay, it is your responsibility to ask your teacher, um, and it is your responsibility to make up that work. Okay, um, the teacher will determine when work is to be made up. All right, um, so but it is your responsibility. All right, um, then we're going to talk about excessive absences. Class attendance and participation are critical elements of the educational process and may be taken into account in assessing academic achievements. All students must be present for a minimum of 91% of all class meetings to receive credit for a course during any grading period. Students are expected to be at school on time and to be present at the scheduled starting time for each class. Students who are excessively tardy to school or class may be subject to discipline according to the Johnson County Public School Code of Conduct. And the rest of this column uh, for attendance talks about um, based off on the excused or unexcused absence, um, what the principal may allow uh, and what he or she can do. Code of Student Conduct. A. Philosophy and Goals. A safe, orderly, and welcoming school environment is essential for student learning. The whole column here, um, the first, the middle column, just talks about your school and how it's supposed to foster a positive and welcoming environment. Um, and it also pertains to uh, parents. Um, C. 
applicability of code. All students shall comply with this code, as well as all state and federal law, school board policies, and local school rules governing student behavior and conduct. This code applies to any student who is on school property, including school transportation, who is in attendance at school or at any school-sponsored activity, or whose conduct at any time, place, or cyberspace, on or off campus, has or is reasonably expected to have a direct and immediate impact on the orderly and efficient operation of the schools or the safety of individuals in the school environment. The rest of this column on the right side here talks about intervention and how we can contact parents um, and different ways to help students. Going to page five, we are going to talk about um, E, special requirements for out of school suspension and expulsion. Um, so this whole left side column, this first column, um, it talks about the um, long-term suspension um, and what would considered short-term suspension, long-term suspension, expulsion, meaning being kicked out of school, um, and who gets to decide this. I'm only going to um, touch base on a couple highlighted um, prohibited conducts, and there's a lot of them. Um, so I'm not going to go read every each one, but if you do have questions, please ask. So F, prohibited conducts, one, skipping school or class, leaving school grounds during the instructional day, or being in an unauthorized area during the school day without prior approval from school personnel. And these would be the offenses here. I'm going to the middle column. Possession, display, or use of tobacco products. So any e-cigarette, vapes, chewing tobacco, snuff, vape pens, most smokeless tobacco, um, and nicotine products are prohibited. And here are the offenses here. You have electronic devices. Um, any personal technology devices uh, may be used by students for instructional purposes with the permission and under, under the supervision of the teacher in compliance with policy 4312. Um, now, you might wonder why electronic devices are under here. Um, the reason why is because the use of personal technology devices to engage in misconduct by bullying, harassment, or threats. And here are the offenses here. Gambling. Um, let's see. Underneath each one, you'll find the description and the offenses. Uh, medications. Uh, disruptive or obscene literature and illustrations, academic integrity, meaning engaging in or attempting to engage in cheating, plagiarism on school work, falsification of any document presented or associated with the school, violation of software copyright laws, violation of computer access policy, or violation of the policy code 3340. Disruption. Using passive, resistant noise, threat, fear, intimidation, coerce, force, violence, or any other form of conduct that causes the disruption of any lawful function, mission, or process of the school. Now, one of the things that I have noticed in my reading is that is this doesn't just apply to a student. Okay, this can apply to multiple students. So some of the wording in here, if you are participating um, in the misconduct on the school bus or um, you and your friend are skipping school, it, it's not the person who had the idea is not the one who's going to be, um, who is, who's going to get in trouble. It's going to be all of you guys. 10, verbal abuse or disrespect towards other students. Uh, what that looks like is cursing, using vulgar, obscene, or abusive language, including slurs or insults uh, intended to mock a person's race, religion, sex, national origin, disability, or intellectual ability, or using sexual offenses or degrading language are specifically prohibited. All right, we're still on 
the out of school suspension and expulsion to page six. You have verbal abuse or disrespect towards a staff member, sexual behavior, damage to property or vandalism, bullying, harassment, theft. You have hacking and unauthorized computer access, sexual harassment, trespassing, hazing, assault, or attempted assault, communicating threats, afraid, fighting, meaning hitting, shoving, scratching, biting, blocking the passage of, or throwing objects at another person, possession of weapons other than firearms, firearm, extortion, attempt to extort money, personal property, or personal services from fellow students by use of implied or stated threats or intimidation, fireworks and ammunition, We're still on the same subject, you guys, out of school suspension and expulsion to page seven. Sale or distribution of tobacco products, arson, meaning burning or attempting to burn any school, building or property, threat or false threat of mass violence on educational property, failure to comply with a lawful directive, possession or use of drugs or alcohol. And that means prescription and non-prescription. Possession or use of a firearm. Threats of death or serious bodily injury. Use of weapon. Sale or distribution of drugs or alcohol. All that we just talked about is the, under the category of out of school suspension and expulsion. On to the next category, policy code 4220, student dress and appearance. The Johnston County Board of Education respects a student's right to choose his or her style of dress or appearance. However, students are expected to adhere to standards of cleanliness and dress that are compatible with the requirement of a good school environment. If a student's dress or lack of cleanliness constitutes a threat to health or safety, the principal or designee may require the student and student's parent or guardian to take appropriate action to remedy the situation. In addition, if a student's dress or appearance is so unusual, inappropriate, or lacking in cleanliness that it clearly disrupts class or learning activities, the student may be required to change his or her dress or appearance. Um, for first violation, the student should be asked to remove or correct the appropriate item and the parent and guardian will be notified. Um, scrolling down, a couple um, dress codes here. Clothing must be age appropriate must not be disruptive to teaching learning process and cannot be provocative, revealing, indecent, vulgar, or obscene. Hats, sweatbands, bandanas, or sunglasses will not be worn inside the school buildings. Shorts may no long no higher than mid thigh. Skirts and dresses must be no higher than mid thigh. Dresses, shirts, and blouses may not be tank top. Spaghetti straps or strapless. Shirts and blouses must cover the waist and midriff and go past the waistline. Leggings should be worn with a tonic top that reaches at least the mid thigh. Clothing will not be allowed, which prompts alcoholic beverages, tobacco, or the use of controlled substances depict violence is of a sexual nature or is of a disruptive nature. No sagging pants are allowed. Proper footwear is required at all times, which is safe and does not cause a substantial disruption to the academic integrity of the school day. Clothing is not to be sheer or mesh. 
undergarment are not to be visible. Clothing must be worn <clears throat> appropriately. Belts must be buckled. And